Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Claudia. How are you? I'm so, so teacher. Really? Todavía se siente algo enfermita. Right, Tamara. Okay, no very good. No quería perder clases, teacher. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Felicito. That's great. Cuando se sienta malita, you can let me know. Me avisa, okay? Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. What about the other ones? Good evening, Victor. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm great, Victor. Thank you so much for asking. And you, how are you? Uh, fine. Ready for class. Ready for the class. That's great. Very good. What about you, Carla? How are you? Great. Thank you. What about you, teacher? Mm, I'm good. I'm excellent. I'm just a little bit tired because of the traffic. Too. Traffic jam. It's not my friend. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Como estaba lloviendo. Horrible, horrible outside. So. Traffic was an enemy at that moment. Era un enemigo de todos el tráfico. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. We are officially in class 11, all right? One more class and then you can rest the whole weekend, all right? You got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to rest. Una clasecita más después de esta. Nos vamos a descansar después. Una semanita les queda ya del curso y luego a tener un descanso largo, all right? Para que comiencen con su otro nivel. Very good. Okay, everybody, let's get started. What are nouns? El día good de evening, ayer. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. My. Good evening. Hi. Let me check. Good evening, Madeline. How are you? Fine, fine, thank you. Excellent. Very good to hear you. Okay, everybody. So yesterday we were studying nouns. El día de ayer estuvimos estudiando los nouns, right? Recuerdan? Entonces decíamos que son los sustantivos, básicamente cualquier cosa que nos rodea desde un animal, una persona, o un objeto, right? For example, a house is a noun. Um, let me check. Okay. Okay, claro. Um, let it go. Now, let's check. Vamos a pedirle a Victor que nos lea la información de nuevo, please. Just to emphasize the information. Para enfatizar la información, Victor. La lee, please. Okay. What are nouns? A noun equal a person, a place, or a thing. In other words, many things that you see around you are nouns. Excellent, thank you, that's correct. Anything that you see around you, básicamente todo lo que nos rodea se convierte en un noun, okay? Keep in mind this information because this is part of what we are going to be practicing today. Esto es parte de lo que vamos a estar practicando este día. Now, yesterday we were practicing with these questions. El día de ayer también estuvimos hablando sobre el some and any. Okay. We were practicing with this. Estuvimos practicando con el do we need any eggs? Or do we need any bread? Recuerden, tenemos count nouns y tenemos non-count nouns. No nos podemos confundir. Por ejemplo, el sugar, el azúcar, no se cuenta, right? Puede medirse but you can count it, no se cuenta con números. So those are the uncountable nouns or non-count nouns. Los van a encontrar como uncountable nouns or non-count nouns, de cualquiera de esas dos formas, los no contables, okay? Los countable nouns, eso siempre los van a encontrar, count nouns. Now, let's check the guiding examples. Voy a pedirle a... Alfredo Alfaro, can you read the examples, please? Me lee las sentences. Eh, 
I need some potatoes. Mm -hmm. I don't need any lemonade. Mm, no se le cambió a usted la, la guidance. Like, o me está dando la de usted. Sí. Ah, ok. Yo, ok, very good, Alfredo. That's correct, excellent. Sí está correcto, ok. Very good. Eh, Recuerdo que el día perdón, de ayer teníamos... Perdón. ¿Ah? Solo la, la pronunciación de limonada no, no, no me queda muy clara. Limonade. Mm -hmm. Limonade. That's correct. Yeah, limonade. Limonade. Oh. Very good. Okay, you guys. Entonces ya tienen ready ustedes sus sentences. Let's get started. Sí, verdad. Creo que esta se la dejé como homework. Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good. Now. Wait. Me, me mute yo sola. <laughs> me apagué el micrófono yo sola, ok. Now let's go with the next ones. Vamos con los siguientes. Eric, tell me your sentences, please. I don't need any cream. I need some bananas. Mm -hmm. That's true, that's true. Very good, excellent. What about Kevin Rodriguez? My mother needs garlic and some potatoes. Mm -hmm, we mother. don't buy any salt. Very good, excellent. That's correct, Mr. Rodriguez. That's great, thank you. Let's go with, vamos a ver, quien más estuvo ayer? Giovanni, please, después de Giovanni Carla. Uh, the first is uh, there are many students in the institute. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y la segunda. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You, you are eating some cake. Hmm. Pero en simple present. Usted siempre me cambia los tiempos gramaticales, Giovanni. Ay, teacher. Excuse me. Don't worry, no se preocupe. Sorry. It means that you know. Significa que sí sabe, right? That's good. Okay, those are correct, Giovanni. Le escribí you. mal quizás entonces. <laughs> que lo puso en ING, ¿verdad? Sí. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Okay, right. but don't worry. Those are correct. Let's go with the next one. Let's go with Carla, please. I need, sorry, sorry. Uh, my sister needs some, some bananas mm -hmm. and she doesn't need any cream on the bread. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Carla. That's correct. Let's go with Victor. Do you have your sentences, Victor? Yes. Hmm? Uh, she needs some potato. I don't need any eggs. She needs some potatoes. Yes. Um, yeah. Very Ella good. necesita mm -hmm. unas papas. algunas patatas. Mm -hmm. Algunas, papas. algunas, exactly. Very algunas good. Those are correct, Victor. Sí están correctas, ambas. Gramaticalmente hablando y en contexto y todo. Ok. Let's go with the next one. Eh, tal parece, he podido notar, everybody, con los audios que tienen todos ahorita, que... Les llega como después de mi audio y por eso se tardan ustedes un poquito en contestarme. Así que siempre les voy a dar tiempo para que ustedes abran su micrófono y todo eso. Puede ser que por la tormenta nos esté fallando un poco el internet, ¿ok? Now let's go with, ¿quién más se conectó ayer? Mayra. Ajá, Mayra, tell me your sentence. Ok, I want to eat mango. She needs some candy. 
I don't want to eat cereal. Excellent. Very good job. That's very good. Uh, Cecilia, were you in class yesterday? Estuvo en la clase ayer, Cecilia. Um, no, pero no. tengo una fecha. Great. Tell me. Uh, I knew some eggs. Uh, well, se pronuncia? Eggs. Yeah, I need some eggs. I don't uh, knew any meat. I meat. don't need any meat. I don't need any meat. Very <laughs> good, excellent, Cecilia. That's correct. Now, I haven't noticed that somebody had any mistake or issue with the sentences. No he logrado notar que alguien tenga algún problema con edificar las sentences, all right, con hacerlas. Um, me parece que todos utilizaron correctamente la structure basada en lo que vieron, ¿verdad? Y supieron utilizar el vocabulary. That's good. Eso está correcto, right? Great job. With that being said, let's move on. Nos vamos a mover a lo siguiente. Conversation fish for breakfast. Let's check this out. It says, Sarah and Kamiko, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we had a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things, all right? Um, actually, for them, in, creo que es en Japón, they always eat fish for breakfast, all right? That's why they are so healthy. <laughs> That's the reason why they are so smart too. <laughs> okay, let me have a Sara and a Kumiko, let's see. Kevin Rodriguez, you are Sara and Giovanni, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese still breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Something we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast but I like to try new things. That's correct, excellent, very good. And Giovanni, repeat after me, Japanese style. Japanese, Japanese style. Mm -hmm. That's correct, excellent. Very good. Let's yes, teacher. Go with, you're welcome, let's go with Eric, you are you are Kumiko, Claudia, ustedes, Sara, action. Uh, Sara, sería. Yeah. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. On Sunday, sorry. Sunday. Sunday, pardon. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What did you have? We usually have fish, rice, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast. What intelligence? Something we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, in never, uh, in never a fish for breakfast, but I like to drink tea. To try. <laughs> To try right. new things. Try new things. Excellent. Thank you. Very good job. Great intonation. You, Great rhythm. Ahora solo hagamos un repaso de estas palabras. Eh, Claudia, repeat after me. Interesting. In interesting. 
Ya le muestro cuál es. Aquí está. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. There you go. Very good. <risa> Fíjense, solo con ustedes no he ocupado ese método de hacerlo repetir tres veces las palabras. De ahí por todo mi grupo siempre lo he hecho. Es que se queda. <risa> yeah, it helps you. O le ayuda o le hace algo, pero que le hace algo, it's for sure. Eric. Let's go. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Excellent. Sometimes. Very good. There you go, guys. Now let's go with the next pair. Eh, vamos a ver. Karina, you are Sara. Carla, you are Kumiko. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has the Japanese style breakfast on some days. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish to breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to eat <laughs> All right, excellent. Very good, Carla and Karina. Ah, por ahí me les interrumpieron. <laughs> Very good job. Great. Um, pronunciation was correct. Me gustó mucho. No hubo ningún problema con la pronunciación. In any word. Madeline, excellent. Madeline, you are go ¿tiene pregunta o quiere participar? Eh, quiero participar. Excellent, very good. Usted va a ser Sara. Alfredo, uh -huh. usted va a ser cómico. Action. Let's have breakfast to, to together. Together on Sunday. Vamos a ver si Alfredo no se fue a tomar café. Me check. Yeah, it went off. Ya se fue. Vamos con Eduardo Mejía. Eduardo, usted va a ser cómic. Tomar café. Ok. Ok. Yes, yes. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's inter, inst, 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 starting. interesting. 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 Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. About a light to three new things. Uh -huh. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, both of you. A ver, eh, Madeline, repeat after me. Try. Try. Mm -hmm. Try. Y aquí sería interesting. Try. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Otra vez, interesting. Interesting. There you go. Very good. Vamos a ver. Um, El otro chico era cómico, right? Mm. Ah, so, yeah, so. All right, very good job, excellent. Eduardo y Madeline. Let's go with the next one. Vamos con el siguiente, eh, sería Alfredo, are you there? ¿Está ahí, Alfredo? Yes, yes, no, no. Victor, have you passed? ¿Usted ya pasó, Victor? Or haven't you? No, teacher. Excellent. Okay. Usted va a ser Sara. Eh, Mayra, usted tampoco ha pasado, right? No, teacher. Usted va a ser cómico. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family, I'll watch. Has a Japanese steel breakfast 
on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Very good job, excellent, thank you. Good rhythm and also pronunciation. Hi, Claribel, ya le funcion ya no se escucha, Claribel. Hi, yes. Bye. Ah, pues usted va a ser Sara y Ruth Pérez, usted va a ser cómico, action. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad to uh, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like two, three new things. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Very good pronunciation. Vaya, antes de pasar con Alfredo, que ya vi que encendió su micrófono, eh, les voy a dar la pronunciación de una palabra que noté que nos ha costado a todos los que han pasado, right? Pero no se los quería decir hasta que ya pasaron la mayoría para ver una sola ayuda para todos. Always. No decimos always. Tras lo que cuesta pronunciar la L con la W y ni existe la pronunciación. Es always. 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 Uh -huh. There you go. Si usted me dice always, le va a costar mucho. Right? Y no existe. Lo correcto es always. Always, always. There you go. Let's go with Alfredo. Usted va a ser Sara. Eugenia o really? Eugenia Larín. Usted va a ser cómico. Yes. Action. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Uh, okay. Coming to my house. My family is always has Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? Um, we usually have fish, rice, no, rice, and soup. Fish for, fish for breakfast? That is interesting. And sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. That's correct. Excellent. Very good. Alfredo, repeat after me. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Otra vez. Interesting. Interesting. Very good. Interesting. Excellent. That's correct. <laughs> ya no, no, café. Ya, ya ¿Ah? café Dos minutos. Ya, ya, ve que estaba tomando café. No, Iba aquí, no, para estoy quitándolo. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Let's move on with the next one, with the next slide. What do you have for breakfast? Listen up. Mexico's breakfast is similar to our breakfast. El desayuno de México es similar al de nosotros, Salvadorian people. So let's check. ¿Qué comen in the U.S.? Vaya, les explico algo antes de que vaya a salir alguien y me diga USA. Aquí se pronuncia US. Solo tenemos la U y la S, por eso se pronuncia, se pronuncia US. United States. Cuando aparece la A es United States of America. Y ahí sí es USA. Pero aquí no tenemos la A, ¿ok? Hago este, esta, 
como asterisco aquí porque ya han habido casos en los que me dicen la A y ahí no hay A. Ok. So you need to learn to read what is here. The U.S. All right. The U.S. They eat eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, or jelly. In some countries, en algunos países, ellos le, en algunos países, perdón. Algunas veces la jalea o la mermelada se llama jam, pero también existe como jelly. Okay? It's the same. Es lo mismo. Now, let's go with the next one. Eh, Japan, they eat fish, rice, soup, pickles, and green tea. Sí, la verdad es que el desayuno de Japón es muchísimo más saludable. No comería pescado en el desayuno, pero es más saludable. <laughs> All right. I mean, they eat pickles. That's, that's healthy. All right. Para los que, por si no, no saben qué son pickles, son los pepinillos, pero los que vienen... Envasados, right? Con, con vinagre. En vinagre, basically. Los cucumbers son los pepinos frescos. Pero pickles son los pepinillos. Okay, then you have Mexico. They eat eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. That's what I'm telling you, right? La mayoría de nosotros comemos eso en el desayuno. Huevos, frijoles, tortillas. Fruta, rara veces, pero sí el pan dulce, el sweet bread y el coffee with milk. Ok, let me, let me see, Carla, what you need? Yes, I have a question. What is the pronunciation? Tortillas, es, es tortillas. Tortillas. Tortilla. Mm -hmm. Una L, tortilla, yeah. Chilas. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning bacon? Bacon is tocino. Tocino. Okay. Tocino. Thank you. Yes, el que proviene del cerdito. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's all delicious. <laughs> By Chair. the way. Yeah. How do you pronounce huevo? Que me cuesta. Egg. Si es uno, egg. Pero como egg. que más de uno, eggs. Eggs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Así, perfecto. Así. Yes. X. X. E. Esta. Uno. Ajá. Singular. X. Plural. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Los pongo a ustedes a practicar with this vocabulary. Let me have Eric. Tell me the breakfast in the U.S., please. The U.S. X. Bacon. Toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly. That's correct. Jam or jelly. Very good. Either or. Miren, la verdad es que la gente se toma las dos cosas al mismo tiempo. Uh, o sea, a veces toman orange juice y a la par el coffee. Y también jam or jelly, which is the same. Right? Now, let's go with. Claudia, tell me the breakfast in Japan, please. Uh, Sería Japan, uh, fish, rice, salt, pickle, green tea. Excellent, green tea, delicious. Green it's better tea. than coffee. coffee. Now, let's go. It's, and it's healthier. Es más saludable que el café y ese sí de verdad lo mantiene, ¿cierto? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go with Karina. Tell me the Mexico's breakfast. Tortilla, fresh fruit, with bread, coffee with milk. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with the next one. Giovanni, tell me the breakfast in the U.S., please. What do they eat? Que comen ellos. Ok. Eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam for jelly. Mm -hmm. Jam or jelly. Eggs. Jam or jelly. Excuse mm -hmm. me. Jam. No, it's okay. Excellent. Let's go with. Let me check. Let me check. Who else do I have? Madeline, right? Yes, Madeline, tell me, what do they eat in Japan? Fish, 
Grace, Soul, Pickles, no, Pickles, Pickles, Green Tea. Green Tea, excellent, Green thank tea. you. Green tea. And Victor, tell me, please, what do they eat in Mexico? In Mexico, it's beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. That's correct. Excellent. Eduardo, what do, what do people in the United States eat? The pronunciation. La pronunciación. The, the, yeah, the vocabulary. Uh, they eat uh, eggs. Eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Kevin Rodriguez, what do people in Japan eat? They eat fish, rice, soup, pickles, and green tea. Excellent, thank you. And finally, let me check. Uh, Claribel, uh, what do people in Mexico eat? beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. All right. Most of the people, if you notice, most of the people eat eggs basically in the breakfast, right? Because that is like the easiest thing to eat in the morning. La mayoría de países, ellos consumen huevos en el desayuno. Y hay gente que inclusive en el almuerzo porque es lo más sencillo de poder cocinar in the morning. So practice time. What do you have for breakfast? I have one oil, one boiled egg with butter and bread. Un huevo hervido con mantequilla y pancito. All right. I'm gonna give you time. Yo les voy a dar tiempo para que ustedes hagan su sentence y me digan, ah, yo como ese, como el otro, right? Yo les voy a ir preguntando a cada uno de ustedes, hey, what do, they, what do you eat for breakfast? Y entre ustedes mismos también se van a hacer la misma question. So, create one sentence, una oración. Please. Finished with your sentence? Ya saben lo que me van a decir cuando les pregunte. Very good. Okay, let's get started. Um, let me see. Carlos, what do you have for breakfast? One moment. Yeah, sure. I have eggs, beans, uh -huh. cheese, bread, and coffee with milk. Really, coffee with milk. <laughs> okay, that, that's interesting. Very good. Thank you, uh, Carla. What do you have for breakfast, Carla? For breakfast, um, I have a toast with cream. Uh -huh. And sometimes I I drink coffee with milk. Okay, very good, excellent. That's great. That's great. What about Claudia? Claudia, what do you what do you have for breakfast usually? I have 
bell, tortillas, eggs, ban ba banana cream, and coffee. Yeah, bananas with cream and coffee. <laughs> yeah. You are my friend. <laughs> Very good. Now, now because you told me you eat, you drink coffee. Usted se toma café puro. Very good. Uh, let's go with Madeline. Madeline, what do you have for breakfast usually? I have two eggs with spinach, oh, wow. onions, tomato, and coffee with milk. So healthy. Que saludable. Are you Salvadorian? <laughs> Great. Yes. I am Salvadorian. <laughs> I'm just that 1%. Digamos. Soy ese 1%. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> now, let me check. Now I will let you ask. Ahora ustedes se van a preguntar. Eduardo Mejía, please select someone. Escoja a alguien de los que no haya pasado. No ha pasado Eric, no ha pasado Cecilia, no ha pasado Karina, Claribel, Jimmy. Cecilia. Okay, very good. Pregúntele, please. What do you have for breakfast? I had one egg. Tortilla, bacon, fresh fruit, and coffee. Coffee, yeah, very good. Ahora usted le pregunta. A él, a Eduardo. Um, um, repeat, uh, ¿cómo se hace la pregunta? I had, what do you? What do aquí you? está, aquí está en la screen. Yeah. What do you have for breakfast? Ah, uh, quiero ver. Madeline no ha pasado. No, se le va a preguntar a Eduardo. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> y Eduardo, mira. What do you have for bread, bread face? I have to frit it with beans, with cream, and coffee or juice. Look at you, you got money to eat. Excellent, very good, Eduardo. Yes, fried eggs, all right? What was fritos? Okay. Fried eggs. Very good, fried eggs. Let me go. Ahora, Eric, select someone, please. Escoja a alguien. Tenemos a Karina, Claribel, a Jimmy, a Eugenia, a Alfredo. Karina. Okay, very good. Uh, what do you have for breakfast? I have cereal with milk or I don't eat breakfast. Mm -hmm. You skip breakfast. Uh -huh. Ahora usted le pregunta. What do you have for breakfast? I have cereal or fresh fruit or toast, toast with jam, mm -hmm. uh, milk, and sweet bread or bread sweet? Sweet bread. Sweet bread. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's a Salvadorian breakfast. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Now, let me check. Let's go with Alfredo. Select someone. Escoja alguien, Alfredo. Tenemos a Kevin, a Jose, a Victor, a Mayra, a Claribel, a Jimmy. A Mayra. A Mayra, ok. Mayra. Se le pregunta y luego vice versa. What do you have for breakfast, Mayra? Okay. Breakfast, eggs, beans, cheesy, tortillas, and coffee without sugar. Coffee without? Sugar. Café sin azúcar. Ah, sure. Sure. Eso, eso es, Mayra, very good. La felicito. <laughs> no, <laughs> eh, Mayra, eh, repeat after me. Vamos a ver. Cheese. Cheese. Ajá. Cheese. Ahora usted le pregunta a Alfredo, please. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? I have only, only eggs with beans and tortillas of bread. And uh -huh, coffee tortillas. Or... And ah. coffee or orange juice. Orange very, juice. Very good, excellent. 
That's excellent. Let's go with the next one. Ahora sí, let me see. Giovanni, select someone, please. Usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad, Giovanni? No. Vaya, tenemos a Jimmy, tenemos a Eugenia, a Ruth. Eugenia. A Victor. Ok. A Do you have for breakfast? Um, I breakfast have yogurt with fruit and granola and a green tea. Wow, that's so healthy. Good for you. Uh, now you ask Eugenia. Ahora usted pregunta. Okay. What do you have for breakfast? Bueno, como ya dijera una de mis comidas favoritas, le voy a decir la otra. I have pancakes with jelly, with uh, bananas and coffee. That's good. That's so good. Pancakes. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Giovanni and Eugenia. That's correct. And let's go with the next one. Let me see. Victor, select someone. Tenemos a Kevin, a Jose, a Jimmy. Uh -huh. Select someone. Okay, uh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin Rodriguez. Okay, ask, Victor. Pregunta. What do you have for breakfast? I have beans, fried eggs, cheese or cream with tortillas. Mm -hmm. And I drink coffee or water. Now, you ask. What do you have for breakfast? I have a beans, two eggs, butter, a butter, a bread, and coffee with creamer. With cream. With cream? Mm -hmm. a cremora is creamer. Mm. Or cream. Yeah, it's cream. With cream, yeah, también cream. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, ese es mi pequeño breakfast. <laughs> pequeño breakfast. Hey, people say, uh, people say that breakfast is the, is the what? Is the greatest meal that you should do. La mayoría de gente dice que la comida más importante de, de día es el desayuno. So, if you eat well, that's okay. Si usted come bastante, it's okay. Teacher, okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. eh, yo me recuerdo antes que eh, en unas clases que yo recibía de inglés, el desayuno era el break, pero lo he escuchado a veces el almuerzo. No, break, si usted dice solamente break, es receso. Break ah. es el desayuno. Ok, ok, mm -hmm. ah, pues ahí estaba la confusión. Sí. Y, y lunch, you. lunch sería almuerzo. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Thank you. Ahora thank you. que la gente ha, ha sacado, bueno, realmente le mentiría si le digo que la gente o solo las personas que viven en Francia, o sea, los franceses, pero ellos tienen una comida que se llama brunch, que mezclan el desayuno con el almuerzo. Como allá no entran a trabajar a las 7 de la mañana, entran a las 8 y media. Entonces, y salen a comer a las 11 de la mañana, entonces ellos mezclan el desayuno con el almuerzo. So that's why they call it brunch. Okay, thank you, teacher. There you go, excellent. La nueva palabra, right? Now, Jose, Jose, what do you have for breakfast? I have usually Coffee, bread, and eggs with beans. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Are you gonna ask me? Me va a preguntar, Jose. How do you have for breakfast? No, what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Mm, I usually have oatmeal mm, with eggs and beans most likely all right that's like a basic uh breakfast primero me como la avena and then the eggs and beans very good okay. very good okay. thank you avena in english is oatmeal all right 
just in case you were wondering, por si se estaban preguntando. Now let's go with, let me check. I'm missing somebody. Jimmy, Jimmy, what do you have for breakfast? Um, I have one tamal with bread and coffee. One tamal. One tamal. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, tamal no tiene translation. Tiene que decir tamal. Tamal, okay. <laughs> yeah, buen tamal. Es como pupusa. We don't say pupusa. We say pupusa, right? That's pretty good. Teacher, good una pregunta. You. Dígame. Es una pregunta. Las, las palabras eh, como usualmente esas, esas van después del verbo o antes del verbo, antes del no. sujeto. Como ese es un adverbio frequency que de hecho ya vamos a ver, va después del sujeto, es decir, antes del verbo. Antes, ah, o sea, va el sujeto, luego la palabra, el adverbio frequency y después el verbo. Yes, sir. Ah, ok. That's Very Thank good, Jose. Now, Jimmy, ask me, please. Uh, what do you have for breakfast? Well, when I have money, I eat pupusas. Very <laughs> <laughs> good, excellent, yeah. Jimmy. Thank you. Now, everybody, let's move on to the next one. Quería que todos hicieran Green chocolate. Ah? Green chocolate. Ah, uh -huh, with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's the perfect meal. <laughs> now, other so frequency, everybody. We got always, usually, often, sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Pero aquí tenemos una sentence. Miren. Eh, todavía no copien estos porque después les voy a poner los porcentajes y ahí sí lo van a poder copiar. All right? Los percentage. Pero ahorita solo vamos a leerlos con la sentence. Always eat breakfast. Ah, oh, no. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Teacher, ¿cómo es posible que alguien nunca coma el desayuno? Yes, the intermittent fasting. Hay gente que hace ayuno intermitente y no desayuna. So that's basic for them. That's, that's how do you say? This is an obligation for them. So they can't have breakfast. Now let's move on to the next one. Aquí sí ya lo voy a poner a practicar a ustedes. Porque quién más difícil. <laughs> It says 100%. Aquí están los percentage. Y esto lo tienen que tomar en cuenta. Porque si no, toda la vida vamos a andar utilizando always. Y puede ser que la acción no la hagamos siempre. ¿Ok? Sino que tengamos un porcentaje. So 100% always. 80% usually. Voy a sacar el punto. Ah, oh, no. Let me check. El puntero. Mm, this one. Okay. 80% usually. 70% often. 50% sometimes. 25% hardly ever. 0% never. Si usted. Literalmente, nunca realiza una action, utilice never. De lo contrario, quédese entre sometimes y hardly ever. Ok, supongamos que sea unas dos veces a la semana, utilice hardly ever. Si ya son tres veces, sometimes. Ok, más o menos por ahí. Now, let's have, let me check. Eric. Please tell me the percentage and the adverbs. Los porcentajes y los adverbs, please. Um, thousand? Hundred. Hundred. Hundred percent always. Uh, eight. Eighty? Eighty uh, percent usually. Mm -hmm. Seventy percent often. Percent, con E, percent. Percent. Ajá. Fifty uh, percent sometimes. Twenty-five uh, percent hardly ever. Zero percent never. Excellent. Very good. Good, good, good. 
Remember everybody percent. A hundred percent, always. 80% usually. Now, let me just check. Now, let's see, let's go with Carla, please. Tell me the percentage, el porcentaje, percentage, y the adverse of frequency. Your mic, Carlita, su micrófono. Uh, sorry. <laughs> And 100% always, 80% usually, 17% often, or often. 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 And 50% sometimes, and 25% hardly ever, and 0% never. Very good, excellent. Remember everybody, percent, con P-E, percent. That's the pronunciation. Let's go with Madeline, después de Madeline, Carlos. 100 percent, always, 80 percent, usually, 17 over, uh, 15 sometime, uh, 25 percent hurling never, zero percent never. That's correct, excellent. Action, Carlos. 100 percent always, 80 percent usually, 70 percent often, 50 percent sometimes. 25% hardly ever, 0% never. Very good, Carlos, excellent. I was able to hear you. Although we had some other voices appearance. Tuvimos la aparición de otras voces, Carlos, pero sí lo escuché, very good. Actually, I like the way you pronounce percent. That's correct. Let's go with Claudia, después de Claudia. Claribel, y después de Claribel, Jimmy, action. Sería 100% always. 100. I 100. Excuse me, teacher. 100% always. 18% usually. 17, 17, 17% often. El 50, me olvido. 15. 15% sometime. Uh, 18, 20, 25? 25% hardly, hardly ever. Hardly ever. Sí. Hardly ever. Y 0% never. Excellent. Very good, very good. <laughs> Let's go with Claribel and then Jimmy. Okay. 100% always. 80% percent usually, 17% of them, 15% sometimes, 25% uh, hardly ever, 0% never. That's correct, excellent, good pronunciation. Let's try to make emphasis on percent with PE. Action, Jimmy, después de Jimmy, Victor. 100% always, 18% usually, 7% often, 50% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% never. That's correct, excellent. Let's go with Victor, please. 100% always, 18% Percent usually seven, uh, 70. 70 percent of the often, uh, 50 percent sometime, 25 percent hardly ever, zero percent never. 
Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Jose, después de Jose, Mayra, y después Eduardo. Action, Jose. One hundred, uh, always. Percent. 18. Percent, always. Um, 80 percent. 18. 80% usually, 70% often, 50% sometimes, 25% uh, hardly ever, 0% never. Excellent, thank you, good. You were handling good the vocabulary. Action, Maya. Okay. 100% always, 18% usually, 17% often, often. Percent. Percent. Okay. 50% um, something. Sometimes. Sometimes. 25% hardly ever is 0% never. Excellent, very good. Before we go with Eduardo, antes de que vayamos con Eduardo, everybody, let me just remind you something in Spanish if by any chances you didn't get the meaning, all right? Always is siempre, usually, usualmente. Often is con frecuencia, all right? Eh, también decimos frequently. También tenemos sometimes, que es a veces, hardly ever, de vez en cuando, y never, nunca. ¿Ok? Remember, recuerde, si usted tiene una acción que la realiza quizás tres veces o cuatro veces o dos veces a la semana, quédese entre sometimes y hardly ever. Right? Let's go with Eduardo, please. Action. 100% always, 80% usually, 70% often, 15% sometimes, 25% hardly ever, 0% zero, zero never. Excellent, thank you. Do not forget percent. All right, everybody, that's pretty good. You were nailed in the conversation, all right? the conversation, the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Manejaron muy bien el, la pronunciación del vocabulario y el percentage, that's correct. Llevan ustedes el porcentaje de cuándo pueden utilizar cada uno de estos adverbs of frequency. Mañana vamos a terminar la section completely, all right, completamente. Vamos a ver guiding examples, structure, más guiding examples, más structures, but that's for tomorrow's class. Pero eso para la clase de mañana, ¿ok? All right, everybody, I will see you tomorrow. Get dressed and I will see you. Bye. Tomorrow, nice, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.